morning everybody well I got the big tractor over there warming up I'm gonna uh, I think I'm just gonna plow all day today it's, we got enough rain that we're not gonna be able to cut I I get the door open so I can go plow that's what I'm gonna do I uh, I need to top the fuel tank off, so I'm going to fill that with fuel and then uh, just go start plowing, spend the whole day plowing. There's a fair amount of acres that we still need to get plowed out. Uh, we also got a fair amount of acres we need to get cut off so we can plow those too. So we're going to try and get almost all the farm plowed this year. That's the goal. So that's what I'm going to do today. Come along for the ride. I was out plowing this field over here next door. Uh, as I was plowing, I kept seeing something in the field on the other side of the field where I'm not plowing. We got wheat planted over there. And I'm like, what in the world is that? So I got out, walked over there, dead deer. So somebody around here apparently shot a small eight point and never recovered it. It ran over here and died. I can see the bullet hole in it. And from what I'm guessing, they shot it sometime yesterday. And the coyotes got it overnight. So and ate it all up. I don't understand it. I don't know why you wouldn't go look for it or call the landowner and say, hey, I shot a deer, ran over on your property. But, what do I know? Maybe it was shot illegally for all I know. So yeah, now I got to deal with a dead deer carcass in the field. Awesome. I'm trying to calibrate the radar in the tractor. And it's saying I have to have a course of 400 feet, which 400 feet is 133 yards. So I'm kind of guesstimating this right now, but I have to drive at about 2 miles an hour for 133 yards and then hit the stop button. So I'm guessing this field is probably 200 yards long, guessing by the size of a football field. So I'm almost to the end here to see how it works. Two miles an hour for 133 yards is very tedious. But we'll see. I don't know. It's saying that the radar on the tractor itself is not working, so I'm using, I'm trying to calibrate it with the radar on the GPS. Why? as I can, I guess. It's in calibration with success. But it's still not reading my wheel slippage. Because it should give me a percentage of wheel slippage, but it's not doing that. I don't know. Apparently, I should have worn my sunglasses out here. Own head move, leaving the sunglasses in the truck. Live and learn. This uh, current field that I'm in is extremely muddy. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I've got two more passes left here. I think I'm going to finish these two passes and then I'm just going to I'm going to be a responsible adult and pull out of here. That way, I don't bury this tractor. But there's been a couple spots where it's like, it was close. Needless to say. So I'll do these next two rounds, and I think I'm going to go try a different field. Because uh, this is a little on the wet side here. This tractor is 
definitely going to need a bath now. It's, uh, sorry about that. I sneeze. I got anything hanging? You guys probably wouldn't tell me anyway, would you? But anyway, yeah, this, uh, this tractor is definitely going to need a bath. There's the bottom step down there. It's like all mud. It's nasty. Oh well, such is fall. Everybody likes fall, except the farmer. He hates the mud, the rain, the stress of getting the crops out of the field in time. It's nice once everything's done, but it's like, holy crap, the stress of getting to that point of everything being done is it's kind of high. Apparently, I'm out of windshield washer fluid. I've got all these mud specks all over the window. Just can't have anything nice. You know, the wife's not going to be too happy with me. Because I'm plowing up the field behind our house right now. And that's the field she hunts in. But, the field hasn't been plowed in several years. We've no-killed it for several years in a row, so it's it's due to get plowed. But I don't think she's going to be too happy when she gets home from work and sees the fields plowed up. I am, however, leaving a path around the field so she can walk it and everything. But we'll see. If I don't make a video tomorrow, Look under the woodshed. You know, one thing I find is funny. For the longest time, I would listen to the radio, all kinds of stuff in the cab of the tractor, just jam the radio. But ever since I started doing this whole YouTube thing, I can't listen to music while I'm recording because of the fact of copyright laws and blah, blah, blah. So, what I'll do is, normally I mute the radio or turn it down, turn it off, whatever, when I'm getting ready to do a shot like this. But, since I've done this YouTube thing, I found myself shutting the radio off, doing a shot, you know, shut the camera off, and I never turn the radio back on. I'm going like all day without listening to a radio. It just dawned on me because it was so quiet in the cab. Other than the tractor itself noise. I'm like, huh. And these little tidbit things like that that I have noticed I've changed by doing this for you guys and hopefully entertaining you guys. It's just weird. Oh well. Just FYI, I guess. I'm starting to get hungry. The wife packed me a lunch yesterday. I really didn't do much yesterday. I didn't need to be lunch packed. Today? I didn't realize I was going to sit in the tractor this long. I should have packed the lunch today. I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh well, I guess I've got a couple bottles of water with me. I'll fill up on that. I just stopped and looked at the power points and, well, you know, nature calls. And I think after this field, I'm going to have to take this back to the farm and switch, uh, flip the power points. They're getting pretty worn down. It's amazing how worn steel can get just running it through the dirt. Huh. Looks like I got a broken point here. That's no good. But as you can see, let me uh, come over here. This is a good one to tell. 
I'll show you. See how skinny that looks right down here compared to the top. So yeah, these points need to be uh, need to be uh, flipped over tomorrow. So we're gonna flip them over tomorrow. Get a new point on that one, so we can go back to plowing. It's kind of funny that this plow's only got. I don't know, it's probably got 250 acres on it. So, the points have lasted 250 acres. Then I gotta flip them over, do another 250, and then I gotta put new points on it completely. Cost of doing business, I guess. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I've got a few things I gotta take care of today. So, I appreciate all you guys. Like, subscribe comment, share, you guys know the drill. We'll talk to you tomorrow.